Next question is from Huntley Michael. Does taking too many supplements or vitamins have possible negative consequences in regards to liver and kidney health? Yeah, it depends what you mean by too much. Like I, I, if I took a whole bottle <laughs> of, mm. you know, uh, vitamin D, I mean, will that affect well, my there's, organs? Okay, we, we talked about this a long time ago, and I actually think that there's, this part is more common, uh, especially from health and fitness people, that take a shake, take a bar, take a multivitamin, and now you've got things like your iron and magnesium and some of these things that you don't need that, and all of them are giving your RDA. Mm -hmm. So like you've, a lot of times you'll flip around the back of yeah. a, a, a supplement. Yeah, vitamin like, fortified supplements and then you take right. multivitamin. Yeah, you have a protein shake that is basically saying, here's all the vitamins you need for the day. And then you, in addition to that, you also take a multivitamin. Yeah. In addition to that, you're also taking a bar and all of them are saying, this is everything you need for your day, and there's certain things you don't want a bunch of. There's certain things that are are going to are going to matter, are going to be negligible, mm -hmm. but then there are certain things that we don't want too high of levels, and that I think that have an adverse effect. Yeah, it depends on what you're talking about and what you mean by too much. Like you can get away with a lot of vitamin C if it's fat soluble vitamin. You can't really get away with too much. Creatine is very safe, but at some point, I mean, anything taken too much, can, you can drink too much water. That'll kill you. Well, you can drink, what is it too many, take too many BCAs throughout the day and it'll actually affect your, your mental state, right? It yeah, makes depression. you depressed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, there's some, some cause and effect there, but there are some, uh, you know, that would actually provide a more toxic kind of an environment if you yeah. inundated you know, your body with it. Yeah. Well, what are those? So uh, it's like what I said, right? Magnesium, zinc, uh, Iron, Min minerals and fat soluble minerals, vitamins. Yeah. So that's basically the those are all the ones your body stores. So it doesn't get rid of what it doesn't need. It stores them, and if you keep right. taking them in, you'll store more and more and more until it you get piles. Yeah, yeah, until you get to problematic. And then it just and basically you're overwhelming the kidney kidneys because it's having to filtrate. All I don't know that. if Is it's that... going to be so much of the kidneys. It depends on the nutrient, but you'll you'll get like calcium. You can start developing calcium deposits in your arteries. Mm. Uh, too much vitamin D, I think, can cause issues if if I'm not mistaken with your skin. So it depends on the on the or it can cause deficiencies. So like too much zinc can cause a deficiency in copper, which can have its own uh, issues. So it really does depend. Um, when it comes to herbs and other weird supplements, I mean, if it's a stimulant, can you take too much? Yeah, too mm. much stimulant's gonna not be so good for well, you. Was it a problems. factor that like uh, because like pharmaceuticals are so like concentrated that that's more of an impact if you you know overdose versus supplements? Well, it's easier not being as concentrated. Yeah, like it's really hard to overdose on nutrients in nature. How, um, is it even possible? I've never heard of it. I mean, I guess you could eat like you could eat a lot of like beef liver. And you might you'll get too much iron, oh, okay. you, could, you know, because it's so dense and liver. I mean, for me, it's I mean, unheard of, iron. though, right? I've never. I mean, maybe it's possible if someone actually actively tried to do that. If someone ate four yeah, pounds of yeah. liver in a day, no. <laughs> which I don't know anybody's. You got to really. But try I don't hard, know anybody. That's why I think we always recommend to go the whole whole food wise, right? Yeah, like go yeah. natural. Like if you. Yeah, I, I mean, I. This is something we we still have yet to create. I've always wondered, and I know you could Google it and find it, so we don't need to create it. But you know, I, I I've found tables where it's like. Um, the the all the like all the different foods and what vitamins and minerals they provide that your body needs <clears throat> and if you if you look at that table and you go like oh i do a pretty good job of eating all those things in rotation and you just become aware of like oh wow you know yeah. what it's been a week or two since i've had any real fruit or mm -hmm. any of these things that to me that's where you supplement that's when yeah. you utilize those things yeah, we're going into winter i want to keep uh, my vitamin d level right up, versus know. just you know every day i take this 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 and this regardless of what you don't your know what your levels are yeah and regardless if you know what your diet is i mean maybe you got plenty of that in your in your diet so why are you supplementing for that i yeah. mean it's a, a waste of money and then it could potentially yeah. have some now if you effects. look at the the reports um of liver and kidney issues um very few of them uh are related to supplements the vast majority are related to pharmaceutical uh substances and drugs mm -hmm. over the counter like tylenol tylenol oh yeah can cause some serious it's issues uh with liver um and there's lots of these pharmaceutical drugs that people use and that that's and, and they have to get processed through the liver or the kidneys um and they can cause lots of issues i, I know back in the early 2000s when i was you know, and, and lots of people were taking these over-the-counter kind of designer steroids, not, and we thought they were pro-hormones or whatever, that the they had to get processed through the liver. I mean, could you overload your liver with that? Well, yeah, you, you totally could. So um, it depends on what you're talking about and what your levels are. I do suggest when it comes to minerals and fat-soluble vitamin, vitamins to know what your levels are so you know if you're supplementing is okay or if you're taking in too much. Everything else, I would always 
stay within reason, what, what's recommended and what's found in studies. I, I, I mean, this goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. You can take too much of anything. Yeah, so. more isn't always better. Yeah, it reminds me that that there was like a contest or something where these, I don't know if it was a, a hazing at some college, but no, I was on a talk show radio. You're talking about the water competition. Yeah, who could pound the most water in a short period of time? Yeah, and the person died. Person died. Their cells literally drowned. So this is true for any substance. Uh, and it, it re, you know what I think this comes from? It sounds like a kid who's taking like three or four supplements, and their mom is like, "You're gonna hurt your liver." That's my mom. Right? You're gonna hurt your liver and your kidneys. You yeah. know? So. Um, you know, probably not, but, uh, if you are overdosing on things that get stored in your body, they can definitely cause issues. So again, uh, get those levels tested so you know what to supplement with. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here and be sure to subscribe.